वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस सेमेस्टर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अ सब्जेक्ट अ पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस कोर्स इज टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन पर्टिकुलरली अ सेकेंड ऑर्डर पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ मैथमेटिकल फिजिक्स So what do you mean by partial differential equation let us understand that a equation which involves the partial derivative is known as a partial differential equation for example z is a function of two variable x and y then we can talk about del z by del x del z by del y and for the second derivatives we can talk about del z by del x square del z square by del x del y del z square by del y square if you have a function z which is a dependent variable depends on x and y and x and y are independent variables then this partial derivatives involves in any differential equation any equation is called a partial differential equation for example i can say del z by del x equal to 1 this is a simplest equation i can write then what should be the value of z if the equation will satisfy this that is interesting questions to solve such differential equations for example i can say del z by del x is equal to del z by del y and so on and many a mathematical terminology is deal with and physics also in the physics many a terminology is dealing with uh, more than one variable and to see what is the change in that quantity we have to understand what do you mean by partial differential equation and how to deal with partial differential equation major research in nowadays a people are doing is based on partial differential equation so let us see what is the structure of the course which i am going to teach you for the semester the unit 1 which we have here it's consisting of a review of the curves surfaces that means z is equal to f of xy geometrically this will represent a curve if it is inter geometrically this will represent the surface if it is intersecting with some another plane like x is equal to y then this will represent a curve and how to generate a partial differential equation with the given condition that is the first thing that we will do in this and then we have a classification of this partial differential equations are there according to their nature of the solution we have a classification of this partial differential equation are there probably in basically there are hyperbolic parabolic and elliptical type partial differential equations are there that we will learn in the topic called classification of integrals when we'll learn how to solve a first order linear partial differential equation we'll solve how to deal with the prefine papian differential equation and for first order partial differential equation what do you mean by order that means a differential equation will contains the highest order derivative it's it's known as a order of the differential equation. suppose the differential equation will contains the second order derivative then it is known as second order differential equation so we'll see there are different methods to deal with the or to solve the first order linear differential equations the one of the method is the charpitz method that is we will study in the first unit in the second unit we'll discuss the continuity with that that will be the jacobi's method and then we'll discuss a very interesting problem of this partial differential equations is known as a cosis problem 
what is forces problem is to generate a solution with given characteristic curves so if you have a given a characteristic curve and from that characteristic curve what will be the solution is passing through that curve or passing through that surface so that is an interesting questions to deal with that is known as a cosis problem so we'll discuss regarding how to deal with the cosis problems and we also discuss how to solve a non linear first order pd okay so that is consisting of second unit a third unit is again continuity with the first second order partial differential equation and there is a huge application of this differential equation in field of physics in field of uh, i can say biology all areas of application of mathematics this unit this third unit and the fourth unit you can see so in the second order partial differential equation we'll see what is the classification of a second order partial differential equation and then we are dealing with some initial value and boundary value problems in specifically we are dealing with the three main differential equations and each of this three is belongs to a different class of a di partial differential equation the first one is a wave equation second one is a heat equation and the third one is a laplace equation with this three equation will dealing with its various boundary conditions are given for example here in the third unit we have a one dimensional wave equation with a vibrating string of infinite strip with the semi infinite strip and with the finite length strip and heat conduction problem that is involves with the heat problem or heat equations which infinite row so it is kind of a situation in the wave equation you have a one string which is stick at one end and if you make a wave of this and so at any given time what will be the wave or what will be the position of the z at distance from this what will be the height will be there so if you make a wave of this then it will look like this so at any given time what will be this distance so that is the situation we are dealing in the wave equation this is the example of a semi infinite strip so in infinite strip you have one string and you are making which having the length is infinity and we are making a moment of that you can give the some force into the string and it will wave what will be the position of any given time is there a heat conduction problem we are dealing with suppose we have a road of one quantity so it is a kind of things is infinite road is there or a finite road is there and if you put heat on one side you have started a heat to given on one side and what how how this heat is spread throughout this bar or throughout this road that is the questions and that type of questions we are dealing in this unit a next unit is again dealing with the laplace equation a laplace equation probably you have studied in your complex analysis also which is also known as a, a function which satisfying this laplace equation is known as a harmonic function so solution of such equations we are dealing with this with some boundary condition and with related to that there are some theorems we'll discuss some functions we need to know and all sort of things we will discuss in this unit number 4 the textbook for this course that i'm following is the elementary course on partial differential equation by amarnath it is from narosa publications that's it for this video if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or question please drop down in the comment box below see you in next video till then bye bye sayonara